Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jocelyn here. I sound kind of horrible right now. Um, I'm actually sick. I am home quarantined with COVID. I know I don't really look like it right now, but trust me, the past couple days I looked horrendous. I went ahead and pre-ordered the iPhone 14. So yes, you read it. I'm doing an what's on my iPhone 14 Pro. And you may be like, wait, if you watched my video last year, don't you have the 13 Pro? I did, not even for quite a year, <laughs> and then I upgraded to 14 Pro. Part of me wishes I would have just done that in the beginning. When I had my 11, it just waited for the 14, but I was just too excited for the 13, so that's what I did. Um, but this time, mark my words, um, I mock my words, mark my words. This will probably be the last time for a little bit. I probably won't upgrade for a while. And I know I said that last year, and someone actually commented on my video saying, no, you'll upgrade with like the smirk. They were correct. <laughs> but um, yes, I have it in the deep purple. It's kind of hard to tell with this lighting. Like if you go like that, you can tell it's like that. I go like this, it kind of looks black, but I also have a case. So if this is it without the case. It's kind of hard. To, I mean, it's kind of easier to tell now. I have a like a protector on it like for your cameras so I have that on it but uh yeah you could oh that was so pretty kind of looks more the deep purple kind of looks more of like an indigo purple if anything but uh or just indigo <laughs> but anyways yeah so let's get started to what is on my iPhone 14 Pro. So let's start with my lock screen. This is my lock screen I have on it right now. It is this cute background. I got this background off of um, Canva. I made it. A music thing on it is a template and so I just changed the picture that they had to a sunset picture that I took on my phone a while ago and just made that like the picture of that song that it would be and then the song title is sunset um so original i know and then the album is positive vibes and sunset just give me positive vibes they're so beautiful they're fun to look at fun to take pictures of i just i just love sunsets so that's where i got that name and then the time at the bottom you could change it and i made it 9 11 and 12 30 because those are two numbers I see all the time. 9-11, crazy. 12-30 is actually my birthday, the month and day of my birthday. So yeah, I changed the font on the time. The widgets I have are my phone battery, the weather of which, of where I live, and then this widget of just this little sparkly sticker thing and at the top has the day Thursday the 22nd and then I added a little quote from Widget Smith because Widget Smith now has lock screen widgets and so I just did you got this because I really need that motivation so yeah and then this is my second <laughs> lock screen um, just this brown background with my fur babies and those, I made those into stickers with the new iOS 16 customization where you can hold down on a subject and it like clears everything around them so it looks like a sticker. And then have the time and this cool funky font and then again the date, just normal Thursday. And then again the battery percentage but in just a different way which also tells me not just my phone battery but if I'm wearing my Apple Watch tells me my Apple Watch. If I'm using my AirPods tells me my AirPods. If I'm using my Sony headphones it tells me that. So yeah that's just fun. And then the quote I added for this is be around with the positive. Um, so yeah <laughs> the quote is like that because um, my fur babies are my background so they are what make me positive most of the time so that's why I put that now getting into my home screen um, my background is just a road and it's fall time and the leaves are falling and I just thought it was cute and then the top widget 
is um, powdered sugar donuts, heart donuts, and I thought that was really cute. And then my other widget I have is I got this, I just looked up on Google cartoon Chandler from Friends and it popped up with this one cartoon and I saved it and then I went into Procreate and did <laughs> it had a weird background to it like it was white around the cartoon and then gray around it so I just went into Procreate and took a white um, color and scribbled where the gray was so it would look all white in the background and then I added text that says could I be any more ready for fall because if you watch friends you know that's kind of Chandler's thing and then my other widget is um, just the weather and it says New York um if you know already I don't live in New York I live in Michigan but um, I just changed it for the fun of it I don't know I did it for um, security purposes too or private purposes for me but I really love New York and by love, I mean like it because I haven't even visited there yet, but I'd love to. Now starting with the apps, I have Photos, YouTube, YouTube Studio, which where I can track subscribers, views of videos, and I can use it to comment back to people on as well. Um, I really like it because it's accurate because YouTube sometimes isn't accurate when it shows like YouTube Studio is. Now I have TikTok. Um, you can go follow my TikTok. Um, it's going to be down below. <laughs> and then across from that, I have a Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Three of those are private, the Snapchat, Instagram, and Facebook. But my Twitter, you can go look at my Twitter. It's nothing too special. I always tweet about my favorite shows like Bachelor, Bachelorette, Bachelor in Paradise, Dance with the Stars, like 90 Day Fiance, all the like fun reality I don't know type <laughs> and then my next page I have the top widget which is a calendar and a cute little cartoon pumpkins leaves books and all that nothing too special and then widget that says hello fall and then another one that's just pumpkins pumpkin patch all that fun stuff and then my first folder is faves I have App Store, iTunes Store, Calculator, Clock, Settings, Notes, Calendar, Weather, Shortcuts, Translate, Fitness, Watch, all the ones that pretty much come with the phone. And then my next folder is Eh. That's just the name I thought of it. I have Find My, Maps, FaceTime, Wallet, Measure, Voice Memos, Mail, Camera, Contacts. These are the apps that come with the phone, but I don't use as much. And then next is TV and Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, HBO Max, which I got so I could watch the new PLL series. And if you haven't watched that yet, you should. It's way more like creepier than the original. Not saying it's better. I'm just saying it's more creepier. Um, but it's it was really fun to watch. And they're coming out with a season two, so that's probably gonna be sometime. In the summer of next year when night comes out and I'm so excited I also need to catch up on watching the Gossip Girl reboot as well because I started watching the first couple episodes and then stopped and then I have Apple TV and Prime Video Peacock Freebie and then next I have depends so again this folder is kind of like the F folder but just apps that I bought and it kind of depends if I use them or not but I have Bitmoji, which just linked to my Snapchat. I have Episode, which I haven't played in a while. That's why I put it in my Depends folder. Because, I mean, sometimes the stories are, like, super long. And I really just don't feel like going through all of them and whatever. And then I have Widget Smith, Color Widgets. Those are just, I love those two apps. And then I have Countdown, um, where I have just random events, like my 21st birthday. Even though my 20th birthday hasn't even happened yet. It's not for another two months. And then I have podcasts, which I try to start getting into, but it's kind of like, eh, do I or do I not? So that's why it's in this folder. I have my chart, which is for my doctors. I have Etsy, which Etsy has a lot of cute stuff. And just I just love looking at it. I have Amazon. They have characters where I can add like the little things. If you remember looking at my lock screen, 
that quote I had, I had little hearts next to. That's from that characters thing. And then I have documents, which is kind of like files on iPhone, but different. And then I have Sheen, which, eh. I could put this just in the F folder, but whatever. Next, I have editing, which I don't edit my videos on my phone anymore. I actually edit on Final Cut on my laptop, but this is just still just in case for different things. So I have Canon Connect, which is obviously for my camera. Um, I have Canva, which is how I make my thumbnails sometimes, and how I obviously, like I said, made my one lock screen. And then I have Lightroom, which is what I use now over Visco, and that's how I edit filters on my thumbnails as well. And when I do like photography photos, that is used as well. I have Fonto, again, thumbnails, how I add text. I have a Pixar, Pic Collage, um, Cute Cut Pro, then I have Reface where you can just add like people's faces on yours and all that. I have Eraser, which you can erase the background, make your own stickers that way if you don't have an iOS or iPhone. And then I have Moises, which is if you've been on TikTok and you see those videos where they're like playing the music and then turn the lyrics off or the song or whatever, Moises, that's the app that's used for. And then I have CapCut, BandLab, you can make different noises and stuff like that too. I have Snapseed, which I was just making like little cute background things with that I have and then I have prequel which you can add like cute like fun filters on like disco or pink theme and all that then I have live collage and then next I have my home filter and I have feet electric which is used to um, control my lights my light bulb um, for my room, I can change like the different colors and stuff of it. Like if you don't need LED lights, you have that. Even though I have LED lights as well. <laughs> then I have my Amazon. Man, I keep dropping my phone. Anyways, my Amazon A L E X A. I'm just in the corner. I don't want to say the name and then I go off. And then I have Ring for our Ring doorbell downstairs. Then next I have music, Spotify, you can go follow my Spotify, it's down below. And then I have Musi, which I don't use Musi as much, but it's kind of like YouTube and Spotify collabed <laughs> in a way. Then I have Video Star, which I don't really use. I've used it to make my own TikTok sounds, which is how a lot of people use Video Star, so yeah. And then next is my helpful folder, and I have Clue. My period tracker app and then I have my health app and then I have life 360 and then I have Pinterest you can go follow my Pinterest I have a lot of cute boards and then I have messenger which is for my Facebook and then I have T-Mobile and I have Yahoo mail which is my work email and I have ways and then I have my Bible app and then I have authenticator which again is for work and then I have files Google um, shop which a lot of companies now when you order stuff um, shop is like where you can track and stuff and and then I have T-Mobile Tuesdays just something that T-Mobile does for customers you can get free stuff or get a certain um, certain amount of cents off gas then I have T-Mobile money and then next I have gas buddy which is used if you're looking for like the cheapest gas gas in your area or if you're just somewhere in like the middle of nowhere you know like oh where's the closest gas station you can use that to find your way and then I have Yuka I forgot to mention this bottom um, I have phone safari messages music and then this is my last page I just have again another like battery widget up here and then my <laughs> a huge widget countdown to my 20th birthday which is in 9 to 9 days woohoo and then I have my banking which is TLC and then TLC card control you can turn on and off your card and then I have Venmo cash app Starbucks and then I have ADP mobile which is again for work and then my last folder is my to-do I have a stacky dash color runners Braindom, 
Riddle. Those are like my game apps. And then I have guitar tabs, which I don't have a guitar, so I use that for piano chords. And then I have Zipline, which is another work app. And then I have Fetch Rewards, which is so fun to do. And you take a picture of a receipt that you have, then it'll give you points for that. And then I have Duolingo, which I was keeping on track with that for a while, and then I stopped. <laughs> And then lastly, I have Famous Birthdays, which, why do I have that app? I couldn't tell you. I hope you guys like this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and push the subscribe button down below if you haven't yet. Push the bell so you can know when I post next. <laughs> See you guys in the next video. Bye.